As everybody's <coughs> recording, but I don't see um, Mr. Mac Dixon mm -hmm. recording in here. The Clearwater Heights community is on a search for lost souls. Our research has shown us that uh, there are still bodies there. Bodies from a forgotten black cemetery that could still be underground at the Frank Crum staffing firm along Missouri Avenue. There are people that remember that gravesite being there. They remember going down and visiting family members there. When the Clearwater Heights community felt they were not getting enough action from Frank Crum, the NAACP stepped in, sent a letter, and will have a meeting with the president in December. Hopefully he is uh, amenable to having his property searched to verify that there are no more remains on the premises. Even though Atkinson expects there will be bodies that grave diggers did not move. I think what they were supposed to do was remove the ones that had headstones. Um, as you know, in the black community, nine out of 10 times you couldn't afford or didn't have a headstone. So if it wasn't marked, they were not able to move it. We asked Frank Crum about the graves, and a spokesperson said they're open to learning more, even though records showed graves had been moved decades ago. But we've learned that records are not always accurate. 144 graves were recently discovered under Robles Park Village, 145 more just last week under King High School. And neighbors believe they'll find more right here in Clearwater. And it's just more of the same thing. The respect was not given. People didn't get the proper chance to bury their loved ones. And, and we end up with what we are today, where we are today. Um, if this does turn out to be a grave site, the city of Clearwater doesn't even have record of it ever existing. The Clearwater Historical Society is also helping with the cemetery search. They want anyone who has any recollection of graves to reach out to them.